some of the participants, learning participants of this faculty development program will share their viewpoints and comments regarding this program. First we will have A.K. Venu Priya Devi of Morey College. Then we will have El Sujita Devi, Associate Professor, College of Social Work, Maitram. Then we will have Dr. K.S. Bimulata Devi, Assistant Professor, the Department of Home Science, Adel Girls College. This is the validatory function of the three-day faculty development program, which is being organized by the Internal Quality Assurance Cell of Nilong Horeki College in collaboration with the Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Youth Development, which is there in Seri Perambudu in Tamil Nadu. We'll be having Professor Indrajit Sodhi, Professor of the Public Administration in Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Youth Development, uh, who is also giving his opinion and comments and suggestions, observations of the three days faculty development program online, virtually from Siri Parambudu. And in the meantime, before he joins the sessions, we'll be having a brief reports and observations from some of the delegates. The first one will be given by Dr. K. H. S. Bimolata Devi, Assistant Professor of Home Science Department in Ideal Girls College. Please welcome with a big round of applause. Dr. K. S. S. Bimolata Devi to give some observations. I feel immensely grateful to be part of the program and I'm very thankful to the organizers for carrying out such an amazing program uh, which is uh, very highly needed uh, according to the present circumstances being post-COVID, online classes and uh, the need for integrating uh, vocational training programs in colleges. As uh, I have been observing uh, in most of the colleges, the vocational programs, uh, the nodal officer will take care of the programs, but remaining teachers, uh, they are not very much aware of what is going on about the classes. Uh, this point, I would like to uh, stress that uh, we should be aware of what is going on, and sometimes, uh, if needed or if interested, we should be uh, able to participate and join the program so that we can learn things, new things. And, and for this program, I have learned uh, many new things, especially regarding uh, the role of teachers uh, in carrying out the National Education uh, Policy 2020. The many challenges we are facing as a teacher and the need for such uh, faculty development programs. After participation, it is just to brush up whether um, what, what things we have learned in the, during the course and what we would like to offer as opinions or as uh, loopholes, whatever the uh, case may be. We need to focus more on the way forward, uh, which uh, Sir Principal is uh, uh, actively doing. And we need to learn from him. He has such qualities. Uh, let's all come together and move forward together. So that because we are the uh, foreigners, we are the teachers for those future pillars the students and if we do not know how to operate ourselves especially regarding e-learning platforms I am very grateful and it's been a very pleasant and amazing program thank you everyone so that was the observation of the three-day faculty development program which has been given by Dr. K.S.S. B. 
Bimolata Devi, Assistant Professor, Home Science Department, Idle Girls College. Uh, thank you so much, Madam. I think uh, some of the assignments were also given to the teacher faculties, and uh, we have to read out some of the recommendations out of the assignments given, but whether those uh, recommendations are ready now or not. If it is ready, then uh, uh, team leaders are requested kindly to present the recommendations, the model curriculum and syllabus, and what are the uh, points to be considered when taking into account the drafting of curriculum and the syllabus in respect of some skill sectors like uh, job role in making uh, Iran bodies traditional dish of Manipur. Everything should be concerned in making the syllabus and the curriculum and uh, if someone is ready for that, uh, we have the time for presentation of the uh, draft curriculum and the syllabus or some points to be considered in developing, developing the curriculum and the syllabus that can also be considered. And another thing is the uh, components which are taken into account in making the syllabus and the curriculum of Subhan Lila. And uh, what about the making of Yongchak Kings? Yongchak Kings, you can also give some presentations. Madam El Sujata, Madam A.K. Renu Priya, Dr. Abdul Hai, Muhammad Riyazuddin Khan, and uh, Sir E. Bharat Singh. These are in Group C for Yongchak Kings. And uh, Madam Sujata, I think Madam Sujata and Sujata Devi, Associate Professor, College of Social Work, Maitram. Uh, she is requested kindly to come up the stage and present her observation, as well as if some points to be considered in uh, development of the syllabus and the curriculum in respect of young subjects, yes, she can also present. Uh, she treated program, Mapung Pava training program ni na ekwena ayi ni isha mak na logza ba si mak ayi ni yam na lai bak pa ba ama sung sin bi lang bini ba kuding mak pusu yam na thagat pa fong dong ning ba miku pa ba du oi zay ya na kan jay adu bu sege hai ri ba training si da ayi ni yam na kwe ki pam ja ba topic adu ka mari lai na ba ayi ni da lai ki da ba ayi ni da Kangi daba, tagi daba mayam, amasu ano ba mayam, amasu pukat piraga. Different resource person sing sina, thambiran ba sing dage, ano ba gyan, amasu mayam ama kwe logza ba pangze. For Aquina Social Works, related to anthropology, related to sociology, related to economics, politicals, mayam ama kwe related to subject sing siga. Adi kang daba ya daba subject mayam ama combined or other social works, that oi na ba yaw riba, even legal slogi kanwati su yaw zari. Ado na social the society the problems lai riba mayam sa ay koy na deal tau bang amna pagitama ko kano pa matamda ay koy thambiri kiri ba resource person na thambiri ba koy gi gyan mayam ama pibiram ba gyan mayam sa ngasi da koy gi only koy gi vocational gi po tisu yam na daka or brah na du gi po tu wakand ma ay taba huzare ay tarik ko makata na vocational gi po tida sa may na koy habchan ba yab gi natrada na different angels lai ri different koy gi government gi that the private sectors, NGOs, my answer that when the combined or the uh, destitute women's not gonna uh, child sing the oiba not the all aged as at home the lady but no man see the combined or when a vocational gig and usma pira da mwagi life the kama settle to obasi ngam hanna ba hingba ngam nana bagi da makta how can I earn my livelihood have the adu gi ilation hama lanta hona bagi scope suwe na pangadra hana ningza yega that was madam el suzata baby Associate Professor, College of Social Work, Maitram. And she has also suggested for developing a qualification pack or a job role for the social work. Because social work is also one of the life skills. Uh, we can train the students in the field of social working and they can earn themselves for the livelihood and this comes under the life skills. We have noted down Madam's suggestion that social work should be one of the job roles 
in the skill sector and the teachers are responsible for development of the required performance criteria, critical thinking, problem solving and all other skills, skills component under the job role of social work. Thank you madam. Okay, anyway, uh, next observation will be given by, um, in the meantime, Professor Indrajit Sodhi is also joining us online. He is now, yeah, he is now online. Okay, uh, Professor Indrajit Sodhi, I will call up one of the participants for giving the observation. Uh, A.K. Renu Priya Devi, uh, she is from the Anthropology Department of More College. More is the international border town, which is around 100 kilometers from Imphal city. This is for the information of Professor uh, Indrajit Sodhi, who is in the Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Youth Development. And there is a college which stands at the heart of More town, and the, that college is More College, and the senior is serving in that college, More College. She has now some observations. In More, I say uh, that uh, we face uh, students from uh, from different ethnic uh, groups. Uh, they are Nepalis, uh, then uh, students from Bihar, then students from uh, Tamil Nadu. Uh, we like to discuss. Group di discussion is uh, very important, I think. So next time, uh, I like to uh, mm, uh, mm, I like to uh, request to the organizing committee to extend. As the three days uh, to extend three days to five days. Five days, uh, I think this is enough. Uh, so, with these few words, uh, let me stop here. Thank you. Um. Thank you so much, A.K. Renu Priya Devi, Anthropology Department of More College, for uh, her nice observation. And uh, according to her, it is not sufficient that only three days faculty development program, it is not sufficient. And the next time we have to organize such a program, at least uh, five days or more. I think I think it's better to organize for 15 days or 30 days, uh, wherever necessary, because uh, it is a vast area where the teachers are, uh, are required to work in the syllabus, curriculum, drafting, industry alignment, and uh, the, uh, the curriculum designing and these things. There are so many things are going to do. so. Uh, more number of days will be required is her main observation. Next we have some observation from another participant, Dr. K. S. S. Chitra Bhanu Devi, uh, Assistant Professor in the Department of Digital Multimedia Technology in Dhanmajri Community College and the DDU Council Center, DM College of Science, now in DM University. Please step on. Dr. K. S. S. Chitra Bhanu Devi. A very good afternoon to the chairperson, Dr. M. P. Rins Prinsit, Principal of Willow Harvey College, and also the co-chairperson who is joining on virtually, Professor Indrajit Sodi, Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Youth Development, and my respected teachers on the dais and other teachers from different colleges. At the very outset, I would like to thank to the organizing committee for organizing three-day faculty development program on the topic role of teachers in integrating skill development in higher education through NEP 2020. This is one of the important topics uh, being organized by the Internal Quality Assurance Cell, the Long Harbor College, in collaboration with Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Youth Development. Actually, this uh, three-day session there are 14 sessions from different schools. And I want to give some uh, suggestions or opinion regarding these three-day faculty development program. Only 14 sessions were there in the three days. As already mentioned by the chairperson and one madam, uh, I would like to give my opinion that I would like to uh, appeal the organizer to organize this session for more longer days, it may be 10 days or 15 days. And what I observe is, Max, uh, in these 14 sessions, I observe only one lady resource person. I hope in the next uh, program, more uh, women resource person will be invited, so that we will be having more uh, 
opinion or the uh, thing that will be benefit for the women, something like women empowerment, something like that. And uh, and I would like to suggest some more uh, brainstorming sessions and some more activities that we can uh, perform during this uh, session. And apart from that, uh, as I'm working in the digital multimedia technology of uh, DM Community College, we are imparting uh, so many skills oriented things, just as uh, news anchoring, photography, cinematography, film making, journalism, communication skills, script writing, etc. So, in every colleges of Manipur, there are so many vocational courses being open, and the topic itself is very important for teachers in, our, in order to implement skill development to the uh, trainers or uh, students so that they will be directly or indirectly helping in the employability as well as to become entrepreneur. These are some of the few observations that I want to give. Thank you. We have uh, some other observations also and the report presentation also. Before that, if Professor Inderjit Sodi of Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Youth Development, who is also the coordinator on the virtual mode, if you are ready for speaking, uh, we are very happy to join us, uh, sharing some suggestions, omissions and the commissions like uh, in this program. Professor Sodi. So I was very much happy after seeing the some infrastructure as well as the greenery. If you talk about nature and greenery, mm. northeastern that is the main hub. And just now one participant was talking about he, there could be more resources from the women side. Since more than 30 years, 40 years when I used to go to Nagaland, Northeastern every year, so I have observed that most of the market were being handled and taken care by the women. So if we talk about women in Northeastern, so in context of market as an entrepreneur, they are very much taking care. But as an academic or some other area, slowly they are also emerging and I believe that soon there will be more number of women in the academic and administrative post. So, I believe that through interaction like collaboration with Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Youth Development as well as institute like Lilong College Manipur, we can do some work in the future. And I believe that I was satisfied with the, uh, with the work or initiative taken by Principal Sir, Dr. Hejuddin Sheikh. No doubt initially in the first day there was some technical issue so that's why I could not fully attend uh, inaugural program. Otherwise, I was very much keen to attend and give my views in the inaugural key, how we can move further. So, my good wishes are with the participants. And whenever you have time, please visit our Arjun YD in the Shiripat mm -hmm. and so Rajiv Gandhi University, last one year. And one regional center is already working since a long time, 2014 in Chandigarh. So we are expecting that soon uh, we will have some more programs in the coming next financial session. And this time we could not give more time because March is going to end and we have so much financial and administrative responsibility. So Namaskar, then thank you, thank you. Thank you to all of you. Thank you so much sir. Thank you so much for your nice observation, encouragement and the support you have rendered since the last uh, two, three days for organizing such a wonderful program for the teaching faculties of uh, the universities and the colleges in Manipur. And you see huge number of participants are also listening to uh, your speech now and they are also very happy. I'm just uh, turning my uh, PC laptop to the other side uh, to show you the smiling faces of all the participants here. Thank you so much. Video. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Next, uh, we'll have another uh, participant representing DM College of Science. DM College of Science is a premier institute in Manipur, now becomes Dhanamanjuri University, upgraded to uh, DM University. And uh, yeah, this is the associate professor working in that university, Dr. Medhapati Kangabam. Uh, of the Department of Botany, DM College of Science from Dhanamanjuri University. We stay on time. Three day faculty development program has been a great success. As a participant, I am truly thankful to 
everyone who volunteered their time. You have proved to be a motivating team leader as well. Please, we appreciate you for your talents and enthusiasm, Dr. and the resident tech. Uh, we are very much proud of you, sir. By single handedly managing the top folks, uh, you have set a benchmark for yourself and have taken us to your height. I, on behalf of the entire participants, honestly express gratitude towards you and wish you all the best for your future endeavors. Thank you all. So, that was the brief observation from uh, Dr. Metapati Ganabong. <coughs> Uh, Department of Botany, Dhanamajuri University for the Faculty Development Program. And uh, Professor uh, uh, Indrajit Shodhi, he has also already spoken to you that uh, any of the faculties from any of the universities in the colleges who are gathering here, if you wish to collaborate with them, with the Rajiv Gandhi uh, National Institute for Youth Development for organizing such faculty development programs or any other seminar conferences, then you can communicate with him also. Anyway, after this, we'll be having uh, the speech from uh, from Dr. Marenbam Thoibi Devi. He, she is the head department of botany in Modern College. Dr. Marenbam Thoibi Devi. <laughs> 